Hey y'all, welcome back to Harmon Homestead. I'm in the garden today and I'm going to show you the complete guide to growing cayenne pepper. And in fact, I'm right beside one of my plants here. So as it would happen this January, I started these seeds indoors and I've never cared for spicy stuff. I'm gonna say that right off the bat. I've never cared for it. I actually grew these for my mother, but she ended up getting some different pepper plants. So I ended up with 10 to 15 cayenne pepper plants. And I've always grown bale and jalapeno, but this is my first year for cayenne. Guys, these are very hard to start indoors. All peppers are. I would highly recommend getting a heat mat. And you can get those fairly cheap this time of the year. But everybody wants those in the fall and in the winter when they're starting seeds. We are in zone 7B, 8A. We're right on the line. This year, they classified us as 8A. So we have a long growing season. It takes these. This year, I started these January the 18th indoors and planted them April the 12th, and they still were small. This year, I'll probably start these inside the week after Christmas. It takes them that long. Now, that was A, without a heat mat. B, I started different ones with a heat mat, and they were on up in two weeks, so that's excellent. But without a heat mat, it can take over a month to germinate these seeds because anything hot, like a pepper, it takes a long time. They like heat. That's one of the things that's thriving right now here in our garden with these hot temps with a heat index of 116. They love this. So cayenne pepper, they're very hot peppers. If you don't like spicy stuff, this is not for you, okay? Now, this is one of the plants. He is two foot, a little over two foot tall. And he has, let's see if I can show you. Get it in the camera. Little peppers everywhere. I'm gonna flip the camera around here so I can talk to you a little bit more. Now, they're very hard to see because they're green and they're small. But you can see that there's little peppers everywhere, little blooms all over the plant, blooms everywhere. Now, in the center here, I see some that are fairly large. Okay, you see that? Now, if you leave these on the plant, they will turn bright red. A lot of people think of cayenne being bright red. The, the more that they grow, the hotter they get. So if they're red, and they're ripe, that means they're at their hottest point. You can pick these at any time. I like to pick mine green. And you notice I just touched a leaf and it wanted to break. They're kind of brittle, but these little peppers just pull right off. See that? Just easy. Okay. Now, what are we going to do with these peppers? I'm going to take these inside and show you how to preserve these, okay? And how we cook with them. Let me add... Just because these pepper plants do well in the heat and you think, well, they really don't need that much care. Guys, I've been fertilizing these. They like fertilizer and nutrients like every other plant outside, okay? Okay, y'all, so we're back inside. I wanna show you how many peppers I just got off of two plants that have been fertilized. Look at that. Look at all of those peppers. Now, mind you, these will not last long on the counter. These peppers will get just wilted and not really usable very quickly. So we need to do something with those. Now, let me start off by saying, again, I don't care for hot stuff. I never have. I've learned to like it and I've learned how to use it to the best benefit. Now, you can leave those on the plant and they will turn bright red. That's fine, but I like to pick mine green. And the more you pick, just like bush beans, the more peppers you're going to have because it's not the plant's not going to put all of its energy into ripening this it's going to put its energy into growing more since you just picked it okay so you may pick them green you may pick them red doesn't matter you can pick them all different colors it makes no difference okay there's two ways that i have learned to preserve this and i've really learned to like it first of all you can make pepper sauce and see there's a red one there that i missed just over a couple of days what this is is these peppers i took the stem off i just cut it off and put pure white vinegar over these peppers in a mason jar, shelf stable, just put it out on, in, on a counter, give it a couple of weeks and you've got beautiful pepper sauce. Now, what are we gonna use this for? You, it's really good to put over greens, like collard greens, 
turnip greens, anything that you might like a little heat, just get some of that liquid, okay? If you've got something like, I've got like a little cruet here, that would be great to pour it out of. In fact, that's what I was gonna use it for, and that's probably what I'll do with these today. Just put them down in there. Now, you don't have to take the tops off. I do. If you don't take the tops off, you could make a little slit in it with a knife, just so you're opening up the pepper and letting more flavor get out, more heat. But you can certainly put these down in there whole after you wash them really well. It infuses the heat into this juice. Well, what do you do when you use the juice up? You can use this again. Just put more plain white vinegar over these peppers, okay? And you can keep reusing it until it loses its flavor. They're preserved in the, in the vinegar, okay? There's another way to use this. What I did yesterday for the very first time, I dehydrated these. And I tried several different ways. And I saw on the internet it said 135 degrees. That burnt mine up to a crisp. You may want to lower the heat. I tried these long, like that. I tried little slices. These went very quickly. I'm gonna show you the whole jar here, what I have. That was two hours at 135. And you can hear how brittle they are. There's no moisture. Um, it really was easier just to put the whole thing in there. Now these I just slit in half, but the seeds wanted to go everywhere and I just, you know, next time I may just do these whole, okay? But you have some flavoring. Now why would we need these? In the winter time, throw that down in chili. There's one or two of them. It'll add some spice. And guys, I've really been convinced over this whole time with this right here, I thought it was just really a waste. I thought, well, this is not gonna fill my stomach. You know, it's not going to keep me from going hungry. That's, I really don't wanna put that on my shelf, but I'm telling you, the more I've grown these and used these, when you're cooking something like dried beans every night or you're cooking soups, stews, especially in the fall and winter, this adds a little bit of flavoring and spice. It makes it more palatable, okay? It makes your food just a little bit better, kind of like an onion. We love a slice of onion with pinto beans. It just makes it just a little bit better. Fill up your stomach with a little heat and you're really not, to me, you're not as hungry and craving some kind of spice. It's good to have just to throw in stuff. If you don't have onions, throw a little bit of that in there. If you don't have garlic, throw, you know, just a little bit of flavoring to make the food better. The heat fills you up, warms you up. I actually have, have enjoyed these. Okay, so that's how we preserve them. Now, of course, you can eat these raw. Just be careful. <laughs> They're very hot. And again, this is nothing compared to when it turns bright red like that one. Okay, so pepper sauce. And you can make actual hot sauce with these as well. I have not done that. I just like the pepper juice and then dehydrated. So, and this is completely shelf stable. Something happens. There it is on the shelf. You can also freeze these. Just chop them, put them in your freezer, okay, in a bag. But I like the dehydrated ones the best. So that's what we've got. That's how you grow cayenne pepper. It's very easy. The hardest part is getting it started. Get a heat mat. Be thinking about this stuff. If you're in my type of growing season, be thinking about this now because it'll be on us quick. And you may be wanting to get these supplies like heat mats now. Okay, guys, keep growing. We'll see you next time on Harmon Homestead.